Bro, we came up. We came up all the way to rub it. I was way too bothered. Brody, Brody, gang tripping on these insects out here. But welcome back. Yeah. This is this is an interesting topic. It's gonna be very interesting. But again, like you said, welcome back. We appreciate and love you guys. Hopefully, y'all missed us as much as we missed you guys. Let let's let's just get to the main point of why the uh, the buyers are feeling this as if so it is more acceptable for the shoe to be fair. Personally, I believe they think it's fair to buy fake or. UA pairs because one, it is so big one. It's so hard to get certain sneakers. I'ma just say UA, UA is fake. People don't like to hear that, but me personally, and again, big disclaimer, these are just our opinions through this whole video. This like whole video. you're gonna believe what you want to believe. But from us, a UA is a fake shoe. Yes. Now, the thing is, when we were growing up, fake shoes, like you can spot them from a mile away. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember, uh, they used to have like SpongeBob six rings. Yes, <laughs> yes, they used to have SpongeBob <laughs> fusions. All this SpongeBob stuff. fusions, like so, all these crazy things that are obviously fake. But fakes nowadays, they're very good. These two, even even though like it's on camera and stuff, these two could very well be fake shoes, and you as the viewer would never know. So. So, like I said, the reason my I think people get fake shoes because, for example, um, if you like go on Goat and you go and see a lot of people nowadays do buy you shoes. I mean, we're those people as well. Yeah. You know, it happens. You know, because the price is too high. I don't. I personally will never buy a fake pair. I'd rather if I can't get it for well, if I want it that bad, I'll pay that ticket. It's just that right. thing. Like if we, don't want that if ticket looks like. yes, but still, like if we want the shoe that bad, we'll pay the ticket. You know, I'm not gonna go ahead and um buy a fake pair just to say i want it you know now on the on our end since we are resellers and we are trying to provide great customer service trying to make sure that people get what they want and what they need it it makes us it makes our jobs harder because you have people that are going ahead and getting these ua pairs of like i've seen a bunch of ua pairs of those um the university blues yeah, I, yeah. i've seen i've seen a lot of people actually buying a ua pair of those because the replica is so very close. But yeah. if you just grab it and look at it, like it's like, yo, like, cause they're getting so close yeah. with the material and it's so hard because we're going out our way to make sure we get these pairs of shoes for you guys. And we have Joe Schmo or <laughs> Victor Victoria Not Secret over there. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> buying these UA pairs and selling them yeah. for $150. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's not even and that's and that's a big thing that we have to talk about. That's that that's probably one of the biggest things besides how close they are to the to the real thing. If you buy a, a, a UA shoe, right? Let's say you I'm sure there is somebody out there that has a UA uh Topes probably for a hundred for hundred and fifty dollars. Like that's it's it's not even retail what this was. Like he's retail for what two hundred? You can get you mean to tell me that I can get a pair that looks exactly the same as this, which you're never gonna tell when it's on somebody's feet. Let's just get that out the way. Whether if you like to hear it or not, you'll never be able to tell when it's just on somebody's feet. You know what I mean? Like you're not about to go up to somebody and like black like their feet or do whatever. But if you can get a fake pair that looks almost exactly like the real thing for $50 less than retail, not even resale, retail, that seems like a no brainer. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, it's it does make it hard on the resellers, but at the same time, like there's a lot of greedy resellers out there, which everybody's seen by this point, like everybody yeah. and their mom sell resale sneakers now. And we're not even gonna act like we don't know people that buy UA pairs, you know? Right, like I we, mean, we, know, we know we know a couple people. We ain't gonna blow up their spot, but we right. know a couple it, it, people. It is, it is what it is. You know, is we it want the high school my bank account. We want no. the high school with a couple <laughs> people that had UA pairs on and fit found out. You know that's cool as well. You know we're grown now. We're not gonna talk about it for real, nah, for real. Like but there's, like, there's no but in in a world where the reselling business is such a thing at this point in time, it's like it has to be discussed. Like I said, we know people yeah. that do sell you. UA pairs, you know, or try to, you know, and it's like, we're not going to stop their grind, you know, it's no, like, if you're, not. like, if they're going to lie to you and tell you it's a real pair, that's personally that's, on now, that's, that's when it becomes a problem. 
because I was just about to say, like, as far as my thoughts personally on it, I, at first, when it really started blowing up, it, it I didn't like people like pushing UAs and stuff like that and trying to say, like, you know, UAs are made in the same factory, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. That's that's just not, yeah, no, it's, it's, not it. it's not true. Those are those people are pushing it. You know what I'm saying? After they say all that, they're pointing you to a site that has these for 150. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a business tactic. Yeah, but exactly. personally, like I didn't like it, but I get it. At the same time, like resale prices are crazy. I was just looking at the Kentucky Dunk Lows. Like in my size and a 13, they're like seven something. For what? Real? For what? For a blue and white dunk, first of all, it's not even an SB. On Goat or Fuck X. <laughs> like, I think I was on Goat. But like a, a dead stock pair of a Kentucky Dunk Low, or you can even take the Syracuse as well, because the Syracuse is in the same thing. Like, there's no way I would pay that much money for that plane <laughs> of a shoe. Seven hundred. That's oh, crazy. How seven, much is it? Seven hundred for every size. Seven hundred for every size. Like, that's ridiculous. I understand, I understand it. Like way. if you buy UAs and stuff like that, I can't grind you up for that because you're using your money for something that you want to buy. It's not my money. You know what I'm saying? It, it's it, it. That's just what it is. That And that's fine. If you want to spend your money on that, like that's cool. The only problem that I have is when people buy all these fakes or these UAs and they just flex them. You know what I'm saying? They'll get off-white sell fours or some Chicago ones or, you know, just hype stuff like that and then flex it like it's real. Like that's that's when it starts to become a problem and starts to get corny to me personally. Or you get greedy people that'll buy UAs and try to sell them. StockX is not foolproof. GOAT is not foolproof. eBay is definitely not foolproof <laughs> with how new they are. They're still trying to work things out. Like these places aren't foolproof. So UAs are gonna get passed at times. And that's 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 horrible because it's like you just finesse somebody out of red when they think that they're buying a real pair, which this that's the thing. Like you're always gonna have people that are more worried about that dollar than what they're worried about that culture. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's different. Like when we were growing up, we didn't buy fakes. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not if, buying we, fakes, no. if we couldn't get it, we just couldn't get it. Like but Jordans and Dunks are so hyped now that it's like, it's like a like a staple right now. Like it's the wave right now. And I cannot wait for this all to be over, <laughs> even as a reseller. But I, I really can't wait for it to all be over because these things are just getting way too hyped for no reason. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's just wow. Again, $700 for a Kentucky Dunk Low. There's no way. That is a, that is a plain shoe. If you take the hyper cobalts that came out a couple months ago and replace the black with white, it's the same shoe. <laughs> and hyper cobalts are less than two hundred dollars resale. Like that's that's the stuff that it's, that's it's, different. To me, it's bro. it's more of the hype. Like for example, like we got these two shoes next to us. This pair will be going up. You guys will see um, see it on there. This uh like these two shoes right here. I'll say preferably probably this one because this is more recent. I guarantee there's UA pairs. Oh, and because yeah. it's so hype and it's so close Absolutely. to the UNC four, quote unquote, um, there's going to be pairs like this. But you could always, like, you can't tell looking at feet, but sometimes in hand, you could be like, oh, this is a real, uh, this material is not the same, blase, blase, you know, or, oh, yeah. or oh, the cement material isn't, isn't how it really should be. Or something's got to be off, you know. And typically, um, which I just found out, um, UA pairs, if you pay attention to how the lacing is, that's how you can tell if it's actually an uh, um, uh, authentic pair or if it is a UA pair, only because, like, I guess they lace it differently. Oh, and, yeah, I, I just read all about that no, uh, a little earlier. Uh, but it, it's, it's kind of annoying, you know, because... Again, we try so hard to fight all the bots and everything right. to provide for these shoes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, one, people aren't noticing our deals right, right. away. And they want to only go with who they trust and how they, who they actually feel 
is the best way to get the shoes. Right. And then other people, they're just, they're just, for better word for this, because I'm not trying to cuss for this video. Their <laughs> their heads are just so far up their butt necessarily <laughs> that they don't want to work with somebody that is close in the city. So for us, we're mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, you know, and people in Pittsburgh, not going to say they don't like to help one another, but since we're roughly still new, you know, we've been doing this for a, a year and some, a couple, like, yeah, I'd say maybe what, like a year and like a year and a little change, a little change, nothing too crazy, yeah. you know, Might but, just say yeah, we'll just say for a year, but it's like still our names are just now really getting out there and it's like, they don't, they don't technically trust us necessarily, you know, which, which I understand, well, which is, I, yes, yeah, which is I, very I understand. understandable, it makes it so hard now knowing that one, we're already having a rough time fighting to get this type of opportunity for y'all, right. you know, and now we're going up against people that have 12 pairs of UAs of these fours or mm. all these hype ones that are coming out. It's like, come on, bro. UAs are starting to have resale value. And that is crazy to me. Like they can make as many pairs of these as they want. They can make a million pairs of those. It doesn't matter if people are buying it. They can keep making pairs to do that. That's just going to put money in their pocket anyway. Right. Now, another thing that I wanted to touch on, like with these UAs real quick, is that just because you go on a site um, to get some UAs or whatever, the, the shoes aren't always going to be close. You, a, a lot of places, and because I, I watched a couple of videos on this, like a lot of places, like you really don't know what type of quality you're going to get until you actually have it. So if you spend, let's say $150 again, you spend $150 on a UA pair and you wait a month, month and a half for it to come in, whatever, you don't know if it's close or not. You know what I'm saying? Of course, people that sell UAs have references and everything else, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of weirdos selling UAs as well. Just like there's a lot of weirdo resellers that sell real pairs. Like, like you're never going to get away from that. And it's not even just like, UA shoes. Let's not even just yeah. say that because again, I, I I know a couple of my boys, they go ahead and buy UA jerseys, you know, because jerseys are expensive yeah. in the arm and the leg. And yeah, I man. feel you. I really do. I feel you. That's what you want to do. It can't be me, but I'm not going to look at you like, oh, bro, you can't afford right, the real thing. I can't, I can't crucify the, the, you or like, say that like, you broke. Like, like I ain't going to say you're broke like, because I mean, like, why not? And, but it, like, if, but you then don't, again, if you don't care that much, if you don't care, no but then I can see like on their point, like, like, why would I spend 300 on a jersey when I could spend $50 and get the real thing? <laughs> and I feel it. I'm not mad at you. But coming from a reseller, it's like... Of course, we don't want to see that. We, we don't want to see that. It's taking business away from us at the end of the day. But you know like saying? I said, but, but but me, I can never... I, I can't put nothing fake on my body. I refuse. I can't. It I can't. Like, I can't. Like, like it's, it's cool to do off-brand names. Like, if you don't got socks that say Hanes and they just say <laughs> white socks on it cool Facts. that's cool I'm, I'm not mad at you over the Hanes regardless Facts. I'm cool and this is all personal opinion Bro. like you're gonna do what you wanna do at the end of the day yeah, if, personally. even even if I do notice somebody with some fake shoes on like to call them out especially if you're out in public like that's corny as it is like you're like that that's yeah, just like that's, we'll, like, we'll like, never clown nah, somebody like never, that like ne don't clown like, and it will never clown blow somebody. it up he got the stock x tag he got the stock x paper and that's another there. thing they're so like so not only are people good hold on talking about, not, good. i was about to say not only are people doing ua fakes so well they're going ahead and they're printing and making fake stock fake x, stock x little things, like little uh i don't even have one he got one boom <laughs> <laughs> like they they make they, they make fake, fake Yeah, I got bees. a stock X tag on my boot. But the thing is, I, I think you could, I think you could. So, in, um, so the real, the real stock X uh, hang tags, they have a stock X logo. Like if you were to shine a, a UV, a UV light. I could call it. I don't know what the hell that means. Yeah. So like, but the fakes have that too. The fakes so, have, the fakes have a real QR code as well. But what the fakes don't have is if you were to shine a uv light over the qr code mm -hmm. on a real stock x thing tag it'll you'll you'll be able to see a stock x logo over the qr code if you do that on a fake stock x tag you won't see anything because there are greedy people if you want to wear uas and they go straight to the toe you know what i'm saying you just want to have the shoe even though it's not real you just want it for the looks or whatever that's fine 
just don't try to pass them off as real. And that's coming, that's not even coming from the reseller in me. Like that's just being, excuse me, like that's just being genuine. That's just coming from, from, I don't even want to say the sneaker eggs. I don't like consider myself a sneaker head. I, sneaker head. I feel like I don't have enough pairs of shoes to call myself a sneaker head. I really don't. I can't call myself a sneaker head until I have at least 250 pairs of shoes. I'll keep it a buck. Crack, I'll bro. keep it, I'll keep it a buck. Cause people throw, you're a sneaker head, people throw you're around a sneaker that sneaker head, head you're title sneaker head. way too loose you're, now. You're a sneaker head. People get a pair of obsidians, you're a turbos, and, 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 and mochas and call they so. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, but if this was my only shoe, I can't call myself a sneaker It's not your only shoe. I mean, I know. You got like 80 pairs, bro. Well, I appreciate you, bro. On God, what's on your feet? I appreciate you. On God, what's on your feet? I got a little tour yellow. Okay, what year did that come out? Oh shit. Okay, shut up. Stop talking to me. Shoot, they almost old enough to drive, but that's besides the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's just coming from me, just me being genuine. Like, reselling aside, heat checkers aside, that's that's just that. We just want to thank you guys again for bearing with us. You know, it's been a long month without talking to you guys, and um, we're going to continue to bring heat to you guys. Any topics that you really want us to discuss, please bring it up to us. I'm Ron. This is Jorge, aka Bum Dig. And we love y'all, appreciate y'all. We're out.